Excuse me, sir. The saying employees on this floor can only be seen through a pre-approved appointment. Not even maintenance is exempt. Do do you have an appointment? I have a meeting with uh, Mr. Johnson. Stunned eyes meet yours. She knows what that means. You watch her muster up the courage to respond. You better leave right now or I'm calling security. You, I don't know what kind of community you think we are here at Sang Industries, but I do know that... Her eyelids flutter and she stops speaking. She appears to be listening to something, most likely through a headset. A moment later, her nervous expression melts into one of professional calm. Mr. Johnson, we'll see you in the executive suite. So, VP of Operations. Let's see, what is around here? Let's... Let's go chat with the saying manager. Be so annoyed if Shadowrunners did this to me. Something I can do for you? Well, just a routine check for maintenance issues. Things in running order here? Absolutely. We have no problems here, but my office rarely does. Our sales team is Sang's top performer. The contracts and acquisitions teams are south of us. However, I check in with them. They're bound to be mired in technical problems, as one would expect from professional slackers. A bit of uh, departmental rivalry, I guess? Door card reader. Sign. Sign says security. Don't think that's what we're after there. Exactly. Sup. Don't take... Th what do you want? Don't take this the wrong way, but you look seriously overworked. What's going on? Maybe I can help. Yeah, why not? Doubt I'll ever see you again. Could use a good venting session. It's a stack ranking here. My team, contracts and acquisitions, is in the deep end. But not because we're slackers like sales would have you believe. The way she bites in the word sales reeks of enmity. Because the, sy the system isn't based on merit. We're working our asses off here while sales doesn't even have to lift a finger. And while they're ranked ahead of us, they're way behind work wise But guess what? Zane doesn't care about it. All they look at are the ranks. And come this quarterly review, whoever last in stack ranking will be demoted or worse, sent back to the training pool. I bet the other team's taking advantage of the situation too. You don't have to tell me. Sales is reveling in our distress and rubbing their success in our faces. It's not just that, but they're also undermining our work by denying us important data my team needs in order to hand off our contracts to sign up a management, as if the rankings weren't enough. What if I could get you that data? What's in it for you? I need into this floor security station. I'm sure we can arrange something. I'm offering to help you tilt the balance between your team and sales. What do you think? I have the code, but I'm not supposed to have it. I technically don't have the credentials either. I'm kind of seeing one of the guys in security. He wanted me to have a safe place in case anything ever happened here. Don't worry. You're worrying about nothing. I got this. Uh, okay, I'll do it. The sales team dialed for the station code. That's a deal. Understood. Okay. Option give data to saying suit. Is that right? Over here. Data terminal. Just got to check on something. Don't worry. Don't mind me. What the hell do you think you're doing? Oh, I'm sorry. This isn't a public terminal. Come on. I can come up with something better than that. Go to a level 8 maintenance issue right here in your office. It's not fixed now. Things will get messy. I need everyone out of this room for the next half hour. What kind of issue are we talking about here? Bolivian creeper mole. Building's been struggling with it since 51. It's toxic if you inhale its spores and you got it in your air ducts. I heard about it on the trid. Everyone, this man's here just informed there's a maintenance emergency in our area. I need you all to stop, drop what you're doing and leave so he can make his repairs. Just don't mind the fact that I'm traveling around with two drones. Okay, let's hack the terminal. And a quick look is it's an unnetworked workstation sitting there all unattended and vulnerable, just asking, begging to be hacked. Terminal contains several arcane marketing charts, each following trends in the Hong Kong real estate market. Probably worthless to anyone outside saying, but someone here is bound to find the data useful. Yeah, someone is. Hey, lady. Got a thing for you. Did you get it? Right here. Yes, perfect. Thank you. As promised, here's a code. I'm, I'm not going to get in any trouble, right? You covered your trail. 
Don't worry about it. S so good, mate. So good. You use the key card. Door opens with a thud. What are you doing here? We didn't call for maintenance. Maintenance doesn't have to be called to maintain the building. It's my job. I'll only take a moment. Sassy, ain't ya? Can't let you through without the passphrase. Just told they didn't need one for a routine fix. That's not policy. No one would forget that unless you're not who you say you are. Well. Hmm. Screwed that up a little bit. The question is, do I roll with it? Because, frankly, I think I'm about to die here if I, uh, like, if I don't get out of this spot. Yeah. Okay. So, I need to move here. Do I roll with it? That's really what it comes down to, right? And you? Um, Izzy, could you run in here, please? Yeah, okay, I was wondering why that jack in thing didn't appear, but apparently I'm just unlucky. Conjurer, Captain, Enforcer. Oh, come on. Okay, Gobbit. That'll do. How many AP do you... You got four AP there, buddy? Well, that's not good. Boost again, I reckon. Did I block my own line of sight there? Ah, uh, no. Wrong drone. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, you pop over here. <laughs> that grenade arm is hilarious. Okay. Yep, yeah, alright. That's definitely how it works. That's. Oh, what? Really? Fine. Alright, we got the one that was going counterclockwise. We definitely just need to rush this.
How much hit points you got there? Nothing? Fine. Can't do anything on that. Well, then I guess we just... Murder. Uh, that's why we got the, these enemies. To ensure we get actual combat turns. And we'll try that. Come on, come on. Good. Not as good. Hi there, buddy. Yeah, okay. So. That should kill you. Yep, good. Okay, now we want to hack the planet. Start. And one more. Next. Come on. W M. Cluck cluck. There we go, gotcha. Yep, spoofed. Isn't that what I needed to do? Really hoping it is. <laughs> Because otherwise I'm a bit boned. And, I mean, if I fail I'll just reload, that's fine. But it's not ideal. Shall we see? <laughs> okay, I was wondering if that would immediately trigger that. And I guess it does. Okay, hack the system. Clock in the third one. I would like stopwatch. W, W, yep, yep, yep. Okay. The captain's station pre approved. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Read it. Okay. 
Yeah, so yeah, best person to contact, and it's like, new recruit, lack access to the files, no you don't get them, you send me them, I'll research them. Uh huh, interesting. Disconnect. And there's a special projects passcode. Now the problem with all this, and the reason why that's most unfortunate is that, basically, uh, I don't think I'm going to get my Mr. Johnson conversation. Or maybe I will. A calm, stern man stands before you. He's He casually checks his watch as he addresses you, his voice tinged with boredom. I was hoping you would have handled things with, how should I put this, more discretion? As a runner, I thought you knew no better, and it's too late to change tax now with all the dead guards around here. You've been waiting for me. I have. You see, I'm a great judge of character, and now you're here, we have a choice to make. To make. Fight me or walk away. No need to spill more blood than required. Besides, bullets are expensive. Right. That's not... Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to miss out on whatever that was. So... I'm not going to roll with it. I'm going to load my quick save. I want to know what that was. I probably should have saved then as well. So we'd be able to go back. Oh well. Interesting. This is now showing me the like direct approach, I think. Because it talks about going into the lobby. Which I didn't do. Oh look, I'm t -pose. I was t posed for a good while there. Okay. So did I quick save before I went in there? Yeah, okay. Cool, cool. Well that's convenient. Now let's chat with you. I've been expecting you. Like the maintenance uniforms, by the way. An enemy in our skin. Classic infiltration tactic. And who are you? Think of me of a, as a business partner. Uh, I, are you done yet? I have places to be, people to kill. Before you decide anything, at least hear me out. You're in a position to come out of this with an edge against Zhang. That alone should be enough to pique your interests. Alright. What's your game? It just so happens you've stumbled into the right place at the right time. I imagine that doesn't happen very often in your line of work. I'm listening. I know you're on the job, but this won't take long. Josephine is running this corporation into the ground, much like the way you're undermining her efforts today. I too am preparing a move against her. And there lies the beauty of our situation. We're in a position to help each other out. Um, what do you need done? It's simple. I give you access to Tsang's core system, and while inside, you retrieve some data for me. Um, won't that look pretty bad on your access history? A little trittier your editing and created violence on my guards part and will claim you assaulted us and entered the Matrix by force. Your invasion against our, uh, of our direct system will only bolster our strikes against Josephine. Um, deal. Excellent. The information I need is in the data store labeled foreign accounts. Return those files to me and you're welcome to whatever else you find in the matrix. Don't get clumsy. Avoid setting off the security system alert or my associates and I will have to kill you to cover our part in this scheme. We, I can't afford to arouse any suspicion. And should you try to leave this office and I don't have my files, our deal is off and I'll say it. You don't leave this building alive. Play your cards right, runner, and this may be the beginning of a new business friendship. Okay. Well. Izzy, get in. I said, Izzy, get in. Now, what I need you to do, now grab boost again on that. I need you to hack the planet here. Okay, this is very different. This is like one of the main entrancey bits. Hello. You don't look very friendly there, do you?
You know what? We'll just also sniff for a bit. And I'm gonna suppress. Oof. Rude. No, that's. Yeah, that's straight damage to me. Because that's black ice there. Yeah. We want to go. Well, first we would just want to look around, see. Yep, cool. So we're gonna go with the core archive, a uh, business archive here. We're gonna hack the ice. Start. Okay, this and this and that. This, no, yeah, wait, no, no. Clock, that, that, clock, not clock, whatever, yeah, yeah. I think it's this one. It's totally that one. Good. Open. Financial records on World City Project. Glowing bluish letters crystallize above the tangled network. Document cluster A201 WCP003 secure.11 slash final. Walled City Low Income Housing Project Financial Records and Reporting. Final. Material class 11. Granted access only. Read the executive summary. The Walled City... It, the executive summary describes the finances of the a contract received about 950 million new yen from other corporations via the exec council and spent it to build a Walled City. Um, most is a dense f description of cost targets, metrics, etc. Uh, however, a short section of the final paragraph stands out. Achieve 35% diversion of funds while maintaining workmanship at generally acceptable levels. Severe downward cost pressures, large financial risk, and information control present a major challenges in executing a financial status uh, strategy for it. So basically, they skimmed like three, four hundred million new yen from that. The co-construction of the two concurrent initiatives, WCL, IHP, and Prosperity, presented a large financial and operational risk. Such large funding divergences are difficult to adequately obfuscate. The author again wishes to note that the official records still may not withstand scrutiny during post-project audit by the exec council. Deep revision ex post facto is advised. Uh -huh. Interesting. Scan through the files. Okay, got... Uh, opaque fog of finance and accounting without a special training. It's incomprehensible. Their yeah, visual pre-adjustment accruals, taxable share, payroll allocations, depreciation flow. Most uninteresting or esoteric. Three options stand out. Master cash flow. Okay. Luminous green lines appear flowing throughout the system chart. They appear to be budgets, fund, reservoirs, coded for various purposes. Green lines are divided into two sections. Each has glowing white text in it. Section 1, okay, yep, receivables and reallocation. So, basically, they got about 950 new yen, and 600 new yen went into that project, I guess. And section 2, an enor enormous scrolling list of Wall City construction expenses. Next to each is a single word, redacted. Okay, now, utilities and excavation. Dense network of tiny nodes and branching lines appears inside the system chart. It appears to be a granular mapping of all utility related allocations, expenditures, and assets. An organizational hierarchy forms beside the system chart, listing upper management of the utilities component. At the top, you see a familiar name Edward Tsang, Vice President of Special Projects. Directly beneath him are two subordinates, Cameron Yu, Construction Engineer, Excavation and Utilities. Under Cameron Yu, a full organizational chart fans out dozens of names and positions. The name of the second subordinate is missing. In its place is a single word, redacted. Under the second subordinate, with much larger organizational, eh, organizational chart appears with hundreds of nodes. In the second chart, however, the same word accompanies every node, redacted. A lot of deniable assets involved here, I guess. And the substructure here? 
Thin threads of yellow light spring from numerous nodes in the huge system chart and begin flowing through others. The yellow threads sneak down below, bouncing through a series of nodes and changing colors until they converge into a single point. An incandescent white word appears in beside it. Prosperity. Access that node. No file exists at it. And now we close the files, and then we download the file and disconnect. And now we'll do the same on the other side. Okay. Hack the ice. Five one eight eight three four seven four six one nine two three three next M clock M Uh, no, the last two are also M. This one? Yep. Yep, yep, certainly this one. Just gotta be sure. Inside foreign accounts file is a series of recent transactions. It looks pretty standard. Several saying monetary deals with foreign partners and businesses. Some money incoming, some outgoing. A closer look at the files and a variance in the pattern appears. It seems a few of the deals are encoded to prevent them from appearing in the company's standard financial logs. Interestingly, of the handful of encoded files, all contain records of deals established through bribery with some of Tseng's business partners. Even more interesting is a chunk of clean Nguyen that's attached to the data. Hey, that is not a small amount of cash money. <laughs> Hell, took you long enough. You got it all on one chip, right? Hand it here. Okay. Hand him the data chip in the new unit. You ordered the embezzlement. You got it. Very good, you came through as promised. A wise choice. I may have need of reliable people such as yourself in the future. Keep you on my books if you keep me in yours. See ya. Okay. So. How do we find out the passphrase we need for security? If I look here. Security station, bright red card. With 26 on it. Yeah, we got the smoking gun we were looking for. That's exactly what we're after. Um, and that's it, right? I don't see anything else. So ideally, we want to still get into that node. All right? Ooh, what's that? Oh, that's a door card reader. Use key card. Door opens. Let's just have a quick look, see over here. All right, so back to this. Come on, came charisma. Confirm. I heard you need a level 5 tune up. We finally got all the parts in, but there are other departments on the waiting list. We can skip you. For now, but I'd have to put the station back on the bottom of the list. Whoa, no need for that. Please come in. But if you could get started with the desk and that would be awfully grateful. Then I'll get to work. As maintenance, I need access to the security terminal. Should take about an hour for the full installation. Don't wait up. Our terminal? Well, if you have to, but make it quick. We've got a lot of sensitive materials in there. Okay, now. Isabel, get in there. Suppression is... yeah, no. I mean... I wonder if you could put two copies of Killer 3.0 in? But I guess we'll never know. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, right, that's my problem. Should have been, yeah, in the other spot. Whatever. Just die. I said, just die. Izzy. Izzy. Don't do this to me. Now we want to go through and we want to check out the rest of them. Okay. So we pop over here. Go for you. Come on. Oof. Just need to not get hit for one more round. Is he? Check in. Try that again, is he? Good thing about this is that, um, doesn't actually matter that much that she got kicked out. I mean, yes, yeah, she's injured, only to use a med kit on her. Ah, she has cool down. Secure data store. Let's hack this thing. Start. Clock in the third last M Clock and M Yep, 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 that all is matching. There we go. Done. Through open Yep, this is the information. Here's the conversation about passcodes for the research center. Uh, and you recruit to accounting. I need that. Hey, if you don't give it to me, fine. You know what? If you don't give it to me, I'm just gonna audit you. Looks like you guys might have been losing money. And then they're like, ooh, actually, maybe, maybe. Here's the codes. <laughs> if you're gonna be like that. Okay. Clonk. That's what I wanted to see. Ninety nine percent game. You told me I had a ninety nine percent chance 
to hit there. And then you told me I missed. Alright, now I'll hack this. Okay, this is the last symbol, and then clock is the third last symbol. Yeah, that's fitting. Yep, excellent, got there. Door open. You hacked the node, and then now vulnerable network, blah blah blah, done. Log out. Done and done. We got, I mean, admittedly, it would have been nice to get the money from that other thing, which I think is why they do that. But yeah, alright, now we'll go to the Thaumaturgical Research section. <laughs> 